Hello friends. Prepare yourselves as Matt Rogers once again butchers context. He also shows his failure to understand the difference between knowing proposition A is correct given known data and finding proposition A was incorrect or partially so in the face of new and improved data. Before he decides this means that something is going on. You're listening to this new broadcast with Matt Rogers. Now, there's been some news that's come through. With Jupiter, its magnetic field is becoming much more stranger and very weird. So it states here, NASA Juno spacecraft has mapped the strong magnetic field of Jupiter, revealing a surprising asymmetric between the northern and southern hemispheres that could lead insight into what is going on with the gas giant. Jupiter hosts the most powerful magnetic field of all time. The planet in our solar system cranking out a field close to 20,000 times stronger than Earth's. Juno has braved the magnetic field during the probe close approach to the planet since arriving in July 2016. It skims about 2,500 miles, that's 4,000 kilometers above the planet every 53 days over the course of this elongated orbit. Well, so far so good. Matt is reading the Space.com website story entitled Jupiter's Weird Magnetic Field Gets Even Weirder. Other than the usual problems he has, I can't fault him here. It states also, a newspaper published Wednesday, September the 5th, in the journal Nature, pulls together Juno's measurements to cre create the most detailed map yet to the Jovian magnetic field at different depths, painting a complex picture totally wrong on Jupiter, with scientific statements cleaned from NASA for the Juno mission. And there it was, the beginning of his failure to context. He has read straight through from text concerning the current story into a link to another related Jupiter story which looks thus. And what do we find if we follow this link? Let's have a look, shall we? As we can see, the heading contains the words totally wrong. Here is the context. As the article unfolds, it is simply saying that data obtained about Jupiter prior to the Juno mission led to certain presumptions being made about Jupiter's structure and magnetosphere. Now, based on higher quality data from the Juno mission, scientists have found they were totally wrong in their understanding of Jupiter based on the old data. Symbols. So this magazine that was published as well in the journal Nature is arguing the fact and stating there is something going on out there. Something is changing again with the magnetic field of Jupiter and other known planets. Whoa there, Matt. That is a bit of a leap. Something is going on. The only thing that is changing is our understanding of Jupiter and not that Jupiter is changing. And no mention is made of any other planets changing either. You just pulled that right out of your ass. This strange magnetic field on Jupiter is a hint to what is going on inside the planet. The researchers suggest the Jovian core could be larger to dilute the previously as thought or the stable layers of fluid within Jupiter could partition off parts of the planet's interior, alter the flow according to the news and view story. The state of the planet's field could even, although the paper's researchers suggest it is unlikely, mark the middle of a magnetic field reversal process. So indeed something is changing. No, Matt. They said it is unlikely. But given the Earth's magnetosphere is known to reverse periodically, it is not impossible. But this does not mean it is not normal either. More research may aid us in understanding the possibilities of this being a real event in Jupiter's environment. By modelling the different possible scenarios within Jupiter and the magnetic fields they generate, the researchers said investigators can search for a match with the planet's actual magnetic field to work out what is going on. Jovian is the objectical form of the Roman god Jupiter, the planet Jupiter named after him. Jovian people and animals named Jovian include the Emperor of Augustus, Roman Emperor, 303 to 364 AD. So indeed, what is going on in our solar system? What is affecting Jupiter's magnetic field to become weird, to become acting strange? So there's something else to think about. Let's carry on now and look at other information. There you have it once more, friends. Matt has taken from this article that it must be something else affecting Jupiter's magnetosphere. Having reread the articles, for which the links will be in the description box below, 
I fail to see any assertions of third parties affecting Jupiter. As already outlined, all that has changed is the understanding based on new data. It has also raised more questions about the dynamics of Jupiter. You just have to love science and the mysteries it can quantify and answer for us. So long as you are, unlike Matt, capable of taking on board the information presented without throwing your personal biases into it. I wonder if this is why Matt pulled this particular video. Did he actually realise he was talking shit for once? Can we dare to hope he is seeing the light? Probably not. It's most likely the half kilo of Kratom he's seeing. Cheerio all.